today I'll be showing you guys the fastest trace in Overwatch 2 settings. <laughs> and for my sensitivity, I'm on 3.5, 1600 DPI. I've heard somewhere on the internet randomly that 1600 DPI is more accurate. Who knows if that's true? I didn't really notice the difference. Um, I think 3.5 is like the perfect sense for really fast flicking and also uh i think i think you could go lower for like smoother if you if you're not as good at aiming but if you can get like kovacs or aim lab or even just play a lot of overwatch and you're like good at controlling high sense then you should probably go like this sense or a little higher a little lower around the sense is really good i forgot to mention uh both proper and kevster have seven eight hundred dpi so if you're not convinced already like two goats already have the sense so it just has to be the best tracer sense no um but yeah i use 3.5 because that's what, what feels good for me might be different for you guys i have a really light mouse so that also affects it for my crosshair i just use a blue size six dot with 100 opacity nothing special there 71 outline opacity for my movement, the only thing I changed here is my crouch. I put it on C because I just find it more comfortable um, than using control. It's pretty weird, but yeah, that's what I use. It's good because, I don't know, it just feels easier to spam for me. Um, okay, so for my abilities, I have my blinks on right click. I prefer using my right click over shift, which most people use because I think I can cook it faster. And you need to be you need to have really fast reactions with your blinks, so that's what was, that's what works for me. I know some really like top tier traces that you shift to, so that's what's more comfortable for you. And if you feel like you can press it faster, then you should use that, or any other button that is more comfortable for you. You should use that because blinks are really important, the main part of her of tracer's kit. And on the other end, we have. I have my recall on shift and yeah I just feel like I can press that button really fast and it doesn't like affect my movement for my melee I have it on my side mouse button uh, again I just feel like I can press it really fast and for my pulse bomb I have on my other side mouse button my back side mouse button I like it on my back side mouse button because it feels similar to melee and the way I like to think about pulse bombs are when I blink pulse bomb, I think of it as a blink melee. That helps me land more pulse bombs. That might, that might work for you, might not. Give it a try. So for me personally, I don't like to use Q for pulse bomb or E for, for recall because you have to move your index finger or your ring finger and like it kind of makes you have to readjust your whole arm. So instead, I put my shift, my recall on shift, and then my pulse bomb on my side mouse button. My my side mouse button. That, that you um you had. You so this way, I don't have to like reposition my hand, and I don't know. It just I feel like it would be faster and makes my movement more smooth. In my video settings, 75 render scale, 1080, full screen. Video reflex on, reduce buffering on, triple buffering off, resync off, graphics all low, and then I have texture quality on high. And that is all. That is all there is to it. And now you can go into your ranked games and just shred people like the fastest tracer in Overwatch 2.